Editor X versus Wix. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you the differences between Wix's editor and Editor X. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, I just want to say that Editor X is, of course, affiliated with Wix. It is just a more advanced editor. That's why it's called the Editor X, because it has some more functionalities, some more features that the classical editor on Wix does not have. So let me show you. So let's get started. I'm just simply going to go ahead and sign in onto both of these two websites. And I'm going to tell you, so the website that you create on editor X is also going to be available to you on Wix because Wix has editor X. It is owned by Wix. So they're pretty similar, just a couple of tweaks here and there. That's the only difference. So let me just show you. So let's get started. And I'm going to click on get started over here on Wix as well. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and log in. All right, so as you can see, this is Wix. The Editor X is now in Wix, as you can see, both of these websites. So this one is Wix, this one is Editor X. So as you can see, they're both the same. So let's go ahead and create a new site on Editor X, and I'm gonna choose the Editor X builder in this first one. And I'm just simply gonna skip this for now. I'm just not gonna answer these questions. I'm gonna straight up jump into the editor. So over here, I'm just simply gonna choose Editor X platform. I've opened up this in another window and with another account so that you guys can tell the difference. So this is Editor X. So over here, you will have all these different templates, right? So let me select and see all templates over here so that you can see. So these are all the templates available on Editor X. Now, because Editor X is affiliated with Wix, a lot of the templates that you're gonna see over here are gonna be unique and very elegant looking. They're very nice websites. So let's go ahead and find a website that we would like to edit. So over here, let's go ahead and choose this website right here. Let's go ahead and view this and see how it is. And then we can see if we want to edit it out. So this is the website. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Yeah, I think we can go with this one. So let's go ahead and do this. So over here, we'll just simply click on edit this template. And now the editor is going to load up. So while it does that, okay, it's loaded up. Never mind. All right. So this is how it looks like. This is the editor X. This is how it looks like. So over here, immediately you can see that it's a little bit different than the classical editor on Wix. So let me just show you real quick. So over here, I'm on Wix. Let's go ahead and get straight up into the builder. So I'm going to skip these questions as well. I'm going to select the editor over here for Wix. And I'm just simply going to choose a website over here as well. So let's go ahead and choose. Let's go with all templates and let's go ahead and choose this website All right so the editor is loading up and so as you can see this is the editor for wix this is the classical editor and this is the editor x so they're both really similar but they're completely different at the same time as well one thing i like about editor x is their amazing you know tools their amazing editing tools so if you were to you know click on a section the one thing that I can see is I can go ahead and immediately access all these things. Like I can add animations, I can change behaviors, I can change the focal points, the settings and all of that. And over here on the right side in the video box over here in this little toolbox or section over here, this inspection tool over here, the inspector tool. So over here, you will get the design, the interactions as well. Like this is pretty cool. Like the interactions are really cool. So for example, let's say if you wanted to make like add an interaction over here, right? like over here, maybe on this text or this grid or this icon, right? Like this image. So, right. Let me just first select that actually. Okay. So over here, like you wanted to add some interactions over here on this box, right? What you could do is just simply click over here on interaction, click add hover interaction. And over here, you can go ahead and choose it. So over here, you will have different types of interactions. So for now, this is the hover. So when there's someone, you know, hovers their mouse over this block, we can add a transition so we can add like grow transition and we can even you know custom and transition as well so if i play the preview that's how it's going to look like the grow transition we can even delay it low, so maybe like at 0 0.5 seconds so if i play it now it's going to be a little bit you know less you know slow so again we can add the transition over here on this image as well if i were to select this um then i can go ahead and change that as well so over here if you wanted to change the image just simply click on change image it gives you the options right at that moment so instead of you know just going around with other stuff so for example if i were to you know come over here on the classical editor you will see you have similar looking design similar looking options but you don't get the interactions and stuff like that like you can add like animations over it 
or a scroll effect but you can't really do that so for example if i were to like you know add like a scroll effect over here i click over here and i can go with the fade in over here we have the fade out so you can choose that so i'm going to choose the fade out actually so it looks pretty cool like you can do that but you can't really do a lot of stuff over here like the classic editor for wix is pretty amazing don't get me wrong it's one of the best ones out there but this editor x i don't know why but it just takes the game to a whole other level so over here as you can see we've added some animations over here as well on this box as well so over here the animation is you know bounce in glide in or fade in fade out or we can even add maybe if we click on these settings we have a bunch of different other options as well like it's pretty simple it's really cool so we have apply grid so if you click over here apply grid we can change the grid size of this whole box we can add animations as well as i said before we can add the fade in animations this the reveal the bounce in the float in like all of that but it's just an overall better experience with the editor x i've found it you also get other options like layers you can have masters you have pages you have styles you have you know apps market over here like everything is just over here in front of you and you can go ahead and do that so pretty much as i said before if you wanted to change this video like this is a video right you just simply click on the video and boom you get the option right here and then you can change the video instead so like this one right like if i wanted to add this video all i would have to do is just simply click on the video and click on update then the video would be updated and changed so as you can see then we can even add some other effects as well like behavior like if we wanted to add like a behavior how does it start to play we can stay automatically no pause loop or stuff like that we can even enable sounds for the video as well and we can even add animation as well so we can add like a bounce in or fade in animation you know or spin or fly or just expand overall or glide in it all depends on you so I actually like the fade in so i'm going to choose that and i'm going to click on customize and we can add the duration as well so i want it to be like maybe 2.2 .2 seconds and boom there we go only animate the first time so now if we play the animation this is how it's going to look like so the video is going to be over here at the back and it's going to be faded in so pretty amazing next as i said before if you wanted to let's say you know select this whole group you can go ahead and do that and you can animate that as well you can change of course you can change the text color the background and all of that you can change the text the background the videos the images everything as well so as i said before the editor x is just a better you know option it just takes the game to another level that's basically what it is i mean the classical editor is fine and all but you know after using editor x and you know some more tools and animations and stuff like that the features that it provides uh, the classic editor falls behind in comparison so if you were wondering about the prices about these two editors the prices are pretty same because they are of course for wix so the prices aren't going to be different both of them are going to be the same you just can choose which type of you know image you want which type of player you want which type of editor you want so it all depends on you then you also get some other tools as i said before and masters over here if you don't know what masters is this is basically like you know the sections that can show on multiple pages like if you have made the header the, your master section then no matter on which page you are the header will always be there so because that's the master page you also have layers so in layers you will get all these sections and footers and stuff like that where you get all the pages and all the sections all in one you can even change the whole site design the site typography the colors the page transitions as well so it all depends on you the overall site colors are like this the typography is this you can change it to whatever you want it so as i said before it's just an overall better experience with the editor x so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below also let me know in the comment sections which editor do you think is better i mean this wasn't a complete in-depth uh, comparison this was just a you know overview of sorts so let me know which what do you think about these two editors and do you still think that you know the classical editor is better so let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll check them out so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye